You're calling yourself LeBron, LeBron James. James. <laughs> And you can't, the problem, you know, you know, is Sasha Pavlich alive today? I guarantee you, Jessica, you didn't take any offense to that, what I said. It's not about taking it's offense. offense. It's not about taking offense. Did he? I might have not seen the message. What'd you say? I took he, he's LeBron and we're the Cavs for when he took Oh, six. Uh, oh, six Cavs. Yeah. They had a lot of good players. And, wait, I don't know. I don't know. They, they had a lot of good players. I heard of you. I've gotten the biggest head for no reason. No reason. I had I carried us. You won the game. Yeah, where were you? You were eating fucking scallops. I got no way. Nick in that equation. Yeah, where's Nick? Nick is a Drusel Gauss. No way. Everyone in this room, you shit on. They made it to the final. Can we bust balls in the locker room? You yes or no? Mean, you took the that was busting balls. Yeah, we took out the locker room. Ball. I'm sorry for being an asshole. No, but, but, I want a real speech out of here. I'm sorry. For making the Cavs joke. I thought we were just busting some balls. I shouldn't have made it public. I apologize for my act. I am LeBron, but I, we are uh, my teammates. We're like the Heat. How about that? You can be Mario Chalmers. You can be Mario Chalmers. He said it that way. Where the Heat, where the Heat were missing Wayne tonight. That's about, that's much better. No, we're not calling him LeBron James. <laughs> yes, we are. I'll give you captains. I'll give you captains. I'll give you cap. Let's clap it up for the captain, huh? Yeah! Yeah! Clap it up, boys! If you're tired, just don't call a timeout! Alright, one last one. I don't think we also need to be able to call. So you call the I do not. I only have three. Clever, that's in like a semi Yeah, that's crazy. That's you don't know if we're tired. You have no fucking. Raise your hand. You let me know you're tired. I take you out. Now I'm going to call a timeout after Spike. Why? Why are you like this? Why are you like this all the time? Like everything, so you want to coach the team? I, I, seriously, because everything I say, you just have some weird, like, antagonistic. It's out of thing. principle. I can't like, I'm, I'm let so tired you... of it. It's exhausting. Okay, but think about this. Tonight, we have six guys, right? right? I'm, I'm, really I'm good. I'm good. I, I, honestly, this this is like, what? this is real, and it's like not fun. Like, Wait, this is real. No, he is like genuinely annoyed at me all the time. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm good. 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 That's real. We just we lost just the locker room. Lost, uh, everything that we built up in the last five minutes. So now he's going to bench him too. So now we're really playing four on five with Clemmer. God damn it. I took it too far. It's what my happens? fault. I don't take kindly to Clemmer holding power over me. That's the whole point. He's I know. <laughs> he just stormed out. Dude, we Coach, built up so we much good juju and it's all just This is gone. not like... Yeah, I really fucked that up. This Holy isn't fake, fake for the cameras like, either. Clemmer, we need your back. I took it too far. Sorry. I was ready for you. He's, he, he, he said he took it too far. I said? took it too far. I, I take it too far a little bit with you. I'm okay. I, you know I know that. Uh, yep. Yeah. I just let it get away. We got away from him. It's understandable. We're okay. Okay. I gotta listen okay. to him. Rock I know I got it. I know I got it. I'll get him. Let's go. Let's get a W. I won't call a timeout. I promise I won't call. We're back. We're All back. right. We're good. We're back. I'm okay, feeling good. resolved. I think I think it's every great. It's, it's, I think it's good to have a little bit of intensity and care before a game. And we are we're motivated, we're passionate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get some W. All right, get together. Everyone get hyped. Coach on three. One, two, three. Coach. Great pass on Some of this shit does roll down. The ref calling the game led to like some like unpent anger and energy in the team. Because that previous game never ended. People came into this game with a giant chip in their shoulder. The whole team had a weird energy, very negative vibe going through. I remember the first thing I missed right off my hand. Are you tired? No, I'm good. Are you tired? Where are you? Are you tired? Good. All right. Jack back on the bench. We'll go with you starting five for now. Zone. 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 It was pretty clear that we just were not playing like ourselves, but Marty actually told us to switch to a 2 3 zone, and that actually kind of helped us stay competitive. the team go to 2-3, they haven't scored since. People call that a captain decision. Yeah, you almost like don't know you're gonna miss Billy until you actually miss him. You know, sometimes he can take too many shots, he's too erratic. 
He doesn't want to come out of the game. But then when, when he's not there to like be that mass down low and that beast, it sucks. First half, I think I had like three, three or four turnovers. I was, I was going a little too gung ho, like trying to bring the ball up and just drive right away. Dana, especially with the kind of really lousy, just was a lousy teammate and was just shitty there. I didn't like that. Someone else has a fucking point. Someone else has a fucking point. You can't hold the fucking ball. Come on. No, yeah, you called Jesse a liability. Listen, Jesse had some bad plays, but it wasn't a liability. You were kind of a liability out there. So I don't think I was necessarily a liability, but I did have a couple turnovers that weren't necessarily uh, great. And I did roll my ankle in the last turnover. And so I feel like maybe it was two and not three. I was calling out jet ski. I, I use the word liability. Regardless of what's going down on the court, you can't be calling your teammates liabilities. I mean, dude, you have 10 turnovers. Oh, hey, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Liability gate. Might be one of the worst things you can tell. Yeah, 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 that's... <laughs> that's mean. He was having a lot of turnovers, but no one should ever be called a liability. That's on me, I felt like a bad teammate. Under screens. Don't go over anymore. Go under. They can't shoot for dogs. And we just got to take care of ball. I think we got to get Dana out of the middle of the key. Because there's four people are going to go on him because they know that's our offense. And we're fine. We're playing off. I ruined the game for us. When I said he was a liability, the game was over. You might as well have just gone home. We can't have that. We can't, we can't have, you know, un a unified front being broken by something like that. That definitely put a, a little bit of a stake in, in our flow. What do you want to do then when the ball goes up? Uh, we we got ball fakes or something. And okay, but I'm bringing it up. Tipping every ball. The guy on the corner is closing out like this. He needs to go spreading out. There's nowhere to go to him. Well, I'm not asking for the ball. I'm just we we're they're tipping every ball. Jetski also uh, sprained his ankle. Kept playing on it. He probably should have told me he wasn't maybe 100. percent I asked him. He said he was good to go, but his play was, was obviously was wasn't where it was before the ankle injury. After you chirped me, I did bang a, a, a jumper and talk some shit back to you on the court, so I felt fine with that. Guys are competitive. As long as we're all on the same page, I'm fine with that. Guys, guys just, just you know, they, they want to win this game. It's the last game of regular season. Everyone's pushing hard, trying hard. Once you said liability, the game was over. This is just a mess. This is the kind of game you just kind of want to just forget about and turn the page and just look at the playoffs. Luckily, we have a bye coming up, so we can kind of just take the bye and then go into the playoffs and hopefully just erase this game from memory. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Any ideas? You move it down low, ball fakes, ball fakes, ball fakes. Don't just get stuck. If you fake the pass, they'll move. Someone will be open. We don't need to stay on top. They're pressuring us. We'll be fine. Let's just keep going. We fucking sucked. Awful game. Liability gate will will live on and in. Go. Go. We fucking suck. I suck. We suck. That one kid is really good. He almost dunked on the whole team. Disaster. That game, we had nothing, nothing going for us whatsoever. We were dog shit. This is where the whole season took a turn. Last week was more aggressive, like verbally, if that makes sense. That was the best player we faced. Yeah. We lost that one. Right. Like, feel that one, own that one. We lost a little bit of our teamwork in the se uh, second half. I didn't love that. So remember, like, we're all pulling the same road. The me. I'm, sure, I'm sorry, Jetski, that was fucking stupid and immature. We shouldn't have chirped anything. That we're crazy. a team. Kind of crazy. That was pathetic. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I yeah. was frustrated. Yeah, when you said liability, <laughs> I was about to run across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jetski hit you out. You could have. I would have given it. you full consent. We took that one on the chin. We, we know, we're, hopefully we'll have Billy back in two weeks. Got a week off, which I think we really need. Um, just from a, a mental standpoint, and then we're in the playoffs. We let this one sleep on this one, but then tomorrow we'll be excited for the playoffs. And let's let's go. Like let's let's get back where we were. Let's go and kick some ass, which I know we can do. We have done. We have to get their offense back. If you guys are looking for something to do during Thanksgiving, you're, you hate your family, you want to get a break, shoot some baskets in your old fucking rim. Like let's go. Like practice well, shooting. Coach. Our offense has been abysmal the last two games. I'm not. Our defense has been great. Our, our enthusiasm, our intensity has been great. Everything's a plus. Our offense is a D right now. And it was a B plus before. Let's get back to where we were. Can we get a straight answer from Billy? Like, is he funny? Because he looked slow as fuck in those clips. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenya, whoever the fuck he was. Yeah, Kenya was 
catching up to him pretty fast. It looked like he was on one foot. So yeah, let's do that Monday. Cyber Monday, Monday, let's all have a heart to heart with him. All right. And we'll be like, because because then he'll be back. Because it's two days before playoffs. Like, Are you good to go or not? What is there to say about last night? Um, I'll I'll be I'll put it out there. I was a dickhead last night. I'm disappointed in myself. I mean, yeah, sure, I went 11 and 16. Yeah, sure, I've gotten 15 rebounds, 15 rebounds, 16 rebounds in my last three games. That's all good and grand, but nobody wants a guy that comes from a losing program or a guy that's out here chirping his own teammates. No team in Sweden's gonna want that guy. Playing too tight up our ass. Uh, you're playing too tight. Nick's playing too tight. When we miss a three, everyone goes like this. It's like we're gonna miss shots, you know. I took three shots last night because you're terrified to take. Our shot. team, our team was here. Right now, I'd say we're about here. And now we're three, two, and one, four seed in the playoffs. After being the one seed all year. You know, we're on a, a two, two game losing skit here. Uh, not the best way you want to go in the playoffs, but maybe that'll kind of get the group together and uh, we got a week off here and we'll see what happens. I love this team. There was no greater feeling than when we got beers after that win where we just played our absolute dicks off. So there's nothing better than that camaraderie and that feeling. And it feels like we've kind of lost it. And the question I have, after all the shit we gave Billy football, was he the key? To all of our success. As much as we wanted to make fun of him early on, he is a workhorse. He's a hustle guy. He's rebounds. He's blocks. He's just a body that tires out other people a ton. And when he's not there to do that, it forces you and Mulcahy to do all that shit inside and tires you guys out. So I think that he is a big part of glue that makes this offense work. Having him down there, like, he just fucking clogs up so much and he helps defensively. We could have used his physicality last night big time. It seems like we had that bully ball whenever Billy was in the lineup. And ever since, it kind of feels like we don't have heart. We don't have character. We need rebounds. Yeah. We need the guy who's gonna, where people like don't want to be around him, you know, on the other team. We need him. We need that man in the middle. We need that big boy with an attitude who doesn't want to come out of the game. We need Billy football. My only concern with Billy, I don't know what percentage he's at. He, he just said he has a broken eight, like it's broken. So how is he playing? If it's his presence is definitely like felt. Like it would be very helpful to have him. I just don't know, like what, what Billy are we getting? I expect, and I think we're gonna get Billy football. Put up. I don't feel good, man. This is ugly. Can you fill that C roll? <laughs> <laughs> we're heading into this playoff game. I'll be honest, we lose. Season was not a success. I uh, talked to Billy on uh, Monday we get back and I hopefully, I think the week off is perfect timing. And we're gonna come back on Monday after the break, ready to go. Yeah, no. but like football is hard to play. On um, the broken egg, so, so, so. I would argue basketball. <laughs> yeah. I mean, both are hard, no. Oh. Basketball's jumping. You're jumping. Yeah. You're getting <laughs> hit into your ankle. Like no, well, not all the time, but you're always jumping. No, when you tap, yeah. you tap, you're, you're jumping, you're stopping. Like, yeah. What are we going to do? Well, we, first we need to do is we need to decide if we're going to play. Are we doing a team meeting right then? Right. Team meeting. Who are we playing? We're playing the first team that uh, we... Two uh, and squad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but they got that, they got that new guy. They got the new Dude, guy. Dude, but they have a good kid now, yeah. and we're going to put Steve yeah. on. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think they've lost since they added him. He's really, he's good. So we're fucked. I said we'll put Steve on it. I got two guys. Box and one on Steve. What are we thinking without Billy? Like... Well, Billy, uh, we should FaceTime I was going to say we need to put him on the bench and then he'll be our secret weapon. Coach? <laughs> Yo. Billy, what's going on? The whole team's here. How are you doing? Hello, William. We want to know what's going on with Wednesday. Um, um, <laughs> that's not good. That's, that's not terrible. The thing is, if I fuck up my ankle again, it might be really, really bad. So you come to the game. And we play without you for a majority of the game. But you're like a break in case of emergency. Like maybe like the last like five to ten minutes, like maybe like last like five, seven minutes, we got a close game, we throw Billy in, monster on the board. We need some rebounds. Like you, you could that would be that'd be a strategy. Alright. You know what? I'll just I'll just play. I'll just play. <laughs> 
catastrophic. <laughs> you can have a minor. You can do one more minor. Can you, can you run? Can you run? Can you run? Can you run? I can run. I can. I'll, I'll, I'll come and I'll play. We'll, we'll get it going. All right, Billy. Billy, I'm probably not going to start you just to just to conserve your energy. How do you feel about that? If I don't start, I'm not playing. All right. <laughs> so, all right. Guy, hey, man. We that's did all it. I needed. That's, that's exactly. That's exactly. Guess, that could not so have gone better. I'm going to be playing on Wednesday our playoff game. I have you in there. Is that correct? That's correct, I'll play. Alright, boys! Alright! Oh, yeah. Alright, oh, boys. That's oh, good news. Alright, yeah. I couldn't have gone better. Yeah. I would have I no egos at all when we play. So, there's a good chance people might not play at all. And if that's the case, then we have to be okay with that. <laughs> we have to win. Like, there's a playoff game. It's like, no more like, oh, I'll put you in for a few minutes. Like, we have to win. Playoffs, baby. It's game day. It's what we've been waiting for. Started off hot. I think we were 3-0-1, lost our last two, we're 3-2-1. So, what really matters is today. You talked to Billy, yeah. off camera, yeah. this guy. He's, uh, I had to have, the, I had to have the, the man, I was just concerned about him, he's a kid and I don't want it. So that FaceTime meant nothing pretty much? Yeah, he lied to our faces. We got no Billy tonight. He cares about Uganda more than America, which, sure, I get it, you're the quarterback, but we also have a big game. I know Uganda does, but so does Barstool Basketball. He definitely prioritizes the Uganda trip over this team, like without question. And going back there, he, he that's a much more, in his mind, that's much more important than our team. Sounds like no Billy. Nothing against Billy, but like, you know, I feel like we got a good five out there and we'll, we'll have some subs with Steve, John, and Ken Jack. One thing I'm worried about is playoff Clemmer where throughout the year, he demonstrated no ability to have any time management, clock management, timeouts, when to sub a guy out, what plays the call. And now it's the playoffs, and he's the coach. If we lose because of Clemmer, that's... I think that's we just... We got some internal strife, though. We got guys coming at each other. Three hours before the game, Steve is saying that maybe he should be starting. No, I actually think you coming off the bench even quick Fresh legs getting some guy's face like you're our like. Well, they got a guy. You're our dog. And I think yeah, I know, but I feel like I need to. If I'm not in the game, it's hard to be. You want me to get in coach's ear? A defensive president, you know? I can get in coach's ear. You can try. We're in playoff mode. Are we going to fucking put the best people in there? I'm just going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? If Steve's a dog, okay? You got to understand. This guy, this guy played professional lacrosse. He's an athlete, he's a competitor, and he's a defensive man. You're starting five. You locked into that? Locked in with that. Doesn't mean that doesn't mean that people aren't gonna play. It just means that starting. Usually time. the best people start the game. Yes. Alright, so is Steve. You're sending me a message. I'm not sending anyone. <laughs> what are we doing here? I'm not sending anyone a message. This is, I, I, I'm, I'm picking the people that I think that, that I think give us the best chance to win to start the game. Things change. But I, no, I, we don't need this division. No, we, we don't need, need this I, division. I already know this is coming. The day of the playoffs is what we're doing. Alright, I mean, this seems weird to me. I understand his frustration. I don't think he gets enough minutes. I don't think he's happy with his role, getting, you know, 10, 12 minutes a game. He wants to be on that floor for all 40 minutes. He's kind of like Billy. We're trying to win the game, and it's like, don't we want to start as best we can? Well, like, I think I am. I mean, tell me where I'm wrong. I, I think, think Steve should get heavy minutes tonight. OK, well, I'll tell you what. You wear a suit. You carry a clipboard. I'll play power forward, like Dana, and Dana can wear a suit. And unless you want to do that, then shut the fuck up. Is that good? Yep. All right. All right. Good. Good talk, boys. Wait, wait, Let's wait. worry about winning. Wait. Let's worry about what are we doing? What do you mean? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> what do you mean? What the fuck is that? Listen. The only thing, if we start slow, if we give up a lot of points early, I just hope you're ready to make a change. That's all I'm, <laughs> I'm not even. I'm, I'm not even gonna let that energy infect my brain. This is what happens on teams. Guys have opinions, and they express them to the coach. I don't know what you. I, I, I hate this because I don't know what you want me to do. Just want to keep it I mean, we're getting more than 10 minutes! <laughs> I'm just trying to win tonight. That's it. I just want to win. I want to get to the ship. Same. It would be a shame, an absolute shame, if this team ended up losing three straight games after the high we were on at that Irish bar after the game. The season would be a disaster in my eyes if we lost tonight. I want to get out of there, and I want to go back to that same Irish bar. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Playoff time, man. Do or die. That's it. That's all there's to it.
Get a dub. You have a major problem. Have you filmed the other team yet? Have you seen their jerseys? What's up? Any way we, there's extra jerseys? This, are, these are our jerseys. Okay, we've been, hold on. Listen, listen, I've been wrestling 28, 30 years. Trust me, you won't have a problem with it. I think it's actually an advantage for us. I think we know each other better than they know each other. I'll play. You playing today? No, I didn't. I can't find my jersey. I can't do it to the Ugandans. You guys have known him for two days. You've known him for five years. Oh, I knew him for a week. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Do you think you'd be able to play tonight? If they need me. I was legitimately nervous for the playoff game. Like, my heart was racing. I had butterflies. I was shooting 90% from, from warm ups. It's kind of scaring me because I feel like he's getting all his good shots out. All right, gentlemen, return the balls to the rack. Let's get started. I wish them both luck. <laughs> I wish them both luck. That's the top of good two teams. Yep. For a long time, the game was like 0-0. Zero, zero. It, like, it was like one nothing. It was like, they hadn't scored a basket for like the first five minutes, but they came awfully close a number of times. I remember thinking to myself, those eventually will drop. We gotta build as big as we as possible, so when they do drop, it won't hit us as hard. 12, 11, 10, yeah. Yeah! Yes! Yes! We came out like we were the, the 2007, 2008 Celtics out there. We were crisp. Yeah. The vibes we had in the first half were immaculate. Like everything was going out. We were making threes. Everything was banging. They were all out of sorts, the other team. Our defense, our zone was perfect. Like, I think I had a moment with Mush at half court at one point while someone's shooting free throws. We were like, you believe like, what's happening here? We didn't say that, but like we looked at each other like, holy shit, like, this is unreal. Like We're gonna look awesome here. And then I was thinking, they added this new guy since the first time we played him. I heard this kid's nasty. He's not doing anything. He's not really aggressive. He's not really making any shots. He's passing the ball a lot. And I'm like, at what point is he going to take over? Because that's what I'd heard about him. I mean, the first half is what you dream about. Everything was perfect. The defense was great. The offense is great. We're hitting shots. But there's no way this team's going to be this unlucky for, for, for the entire yeah. Reverse the on offense. Reverse the ball at the top. You overload the one side, like the right side. The left wing is open every time. Yeah. Finding people. It's absolutely true. So they they overload over. You swing it over. It's just difficult to cross court pass. Just make sure it's there. But that guy's wide open every Keep time. That, I feel like the defensive intensity is not exactly the same. Keep it going. We got six minutes left this half. Great stop, boys. Let's go. Oh boy, crazy. Oh, let's go. 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 Keep rebounding. We're grabbing everything. We're hitting jumpers now. Shoot around helped, I guess. The entire season, we had not had good jump shooting. And we finally had. So we were kind of just flowing like a well-oiled machine. Let's shoot that all day. All day. No flat foot bullshit! Keep moving our offense! Let's go! Everything. Move it, move it. Coach is still like, don't shoot the threes. We're hitting banging threes like we're the fucking Warriors. We were up, well, what, 15 going a half? Let's go! Don't let up, don't let up. Come on, boys. Break them. Let's fucking. Let's go. Don't let up, baby. Let's go. A good shooting team. When we have oh. time to. Oh. When we have time to warm up. Oh, because. What are we, what's different today than before? We're open. And we have time to shoot around. We're making true, smart true, plays. True. We're passing the ball. We're doing everything right. Just keep it going. Keep it going. We're good. Just, we're like all confident now. That's what you gotta be. Shots start going down, then you start feeling yourself. Like that's what's happening. No let up. No let up. I don't want to play. No let up. Your aim should keep me out the game. If I don't play, I'll buy you guys beers. 
playing great, doing everything right, moving the ball right. It's the best we've shot all season. Great defensive intensity. A couple of lapses we got into the back end of the, second, of the first half, but I'm really happy how it really was. There you go, Dana. That's what I'm talking about. And then the dude that we had heard about and was warned about decided to show up. He just went like this and scored every single point. I mean, he just took over. He was more willing to share the ball the first half, and then the second half, he was like, I'm just going to take over. On the flip side, we lost our focus. We lost our edge. A 17-point lead becomes an 8-point lead. Come on, guys, make defense. Come on. Breaking glass. Going to the playoff game, I really didn't want to play. I really wanted them to go on a stretch, like play well. I could watch them. I was kind of just there to go out after. But going into the second half, it was kind of looking like we're losing this huge lead and it's closing in. And when they started coming back, you could see Coach Clem starting to get nervous. So I was like, oh shit. I started warming up. I was running around on it. I was like, all right. Let's get this going. So we put, I put Billy in because the lead had dropped from 17 to 8. My theory, or my rationale, was we're spiraling. I need a record scratch. I need something to be different. Because we were playing very poorly before I put Billy in. Billy, zone. Zone, do you want me to get the center zone? No, no, no. He made his first shot. People, I don't know. No, we're not. We had six players in the, on the court though when Billy made a shot. Did you see that we had okay. six guys hey, on the court? Take your time. Court? We got plenty of time. Hey! 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 decision to put him in and change the flow we had. I got out there, I was completely out of the offensive vibe mode. Uh, they had been, their chemistry was on a much higher level than it was before. And you know, working without me, I sort of, I couldn't find my spots. There we go! Yeah! Yeah! I started to feel the momentum go a little bit. But once Coach Clemmer put Billy in the game, you could feel us just like drop like a ton of bricks. Not because of Billy, he just was not part of the cohesion. Screen, 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 slow, screen. Slow, keep it slow. Also, we're at fucking seven points. Stop pressing. We're yes, fine. Yes. Also, if we get the line, take your time. Yes. Yeah. Take yeah. your time. Keep the intensity up. Offense, find our shot. Make sense? Make sense? 17 points like that. Something just clicked differently with them. Their guy who wasn't on the team originally started hitting literally everything, and I think he might have had like 25 points in the second half, and then he started getting calls. So it was a combination of personnel change from us and that kid just getting hot as hell and getting every single call. Marty, was, he, he was like our heartbeat of that game, you know? He was playing well, he was handling the ball, he was playing good defense. I went over to the, to the bench and said, Marty, are you okay? Did you roll an ankle? Oh. Are you hurt? We have two shots. We should get our rebounders in. Is our rebounders in? Coach is a fucking moron. Moron. And go, and go. Yes, there you go. go. Nice. Everything that went right in the first half went wrong in the second. It was just kind of a disaster. <laughs> Now we start hey, all right, all right. on us. Why not? Fucking all right. We need, we need one stop, one position. That's it. We're fine. I need you to settle down. Hey, I'm gonna help you out for a minute. Give me a minute to settle yeah. down. And you can have hey, listen, boys. If you're gonna foul down low, fucking foul hard so they don't get in one. Right? It's only one point. Putting Billy in. I'm going zone. No man, 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 man. I was late in the game. Very tight game. Got a breakaway. Tried to do a layup. Was really hoping to go in. Oh! 
My nightmare pretty much came to reality. I had to shoot free throws to potentially win the game. They got fans over there. He always makes. He always makes a second. That wasn't a second. He never misses a second one. He never misses a third or fourth one. Never. He never misses three or four. Come on, Steve! Never. Free throws have been a uh, detrimental part of my game forever. When I got the ball, it did not feel good. You know, I get back to the line, and by the graces of God, was able to at least hit one out of two and get us back. Fall back! Jackson, fall back! Remember that. Yeah. Twelve seconds left. We're up one. I think we all knew where the ball was going. After being out of the folds for so long, I didn't want to go to the coach and be like, hey, put me on their power forward who is scoring all the points. I can lock them up. But I think I could have provided that stop on defense to sort of mitigate all those points he was putting up. They hit the free throw. Dana passed the ball into me at half court. Probably five seconds left. Go to dribble, their best player comes out at me. Try and hit him with a little shake and bake. Try to get the ball, throw something up. Last thing I remember, him swanning me and saying, give me that, right in my face. I was just devastated after that. I blew it. I'm just saying, if you're letting us play, why? Wh no, but right here, when I got two guys on me, where's the call? It was there, it was there like that. He's getting seven and ones in a row. That. That's crazy, though. man. I know this probably doesn't sink well right now, but that was the best game we played all year. Um, I thought you guys did a hell of a job. I know this is obviously, <laughs> it sucks to lose, especially when you're up by a lot. And uh, I don't know, I definitely, I don't think I did a particularly great job today, but you guys did fantastic. Um, I really, I don't have a lot. I mean, Billy, thank you for playing. I know you're not in great shape right now. I appreciate it. I asked you to play and you did. And I appreciate that a lot. I had a blast coaching you guys. Um, and I, I hope, I hope, uh, I don't know, I hope, I hope you guys can, can take some solace in this. Boys, I came in pretty rusty. You guys, you guys, I was out there, and you guys had great flow of the offense, and you guys have been playing with each other more, and I literally felt out of place because all of you guys were moving differently, like moving on to the next level, and that was awesome to see in the first half. When I got in there, I was like, I am totally out of the loop on this. You guys are doing amazing. I know if we wanted to run this back again, we can, we can be better. Will there be a season two? There's going to be a season two, and we have a lot of things that we can figure out in the offseason. I had so much fun. Like, sign me up for next season. Can we do it in the spring? I'm going to sign up anyway. We proved that we are good enough to be in this league. I think we definitely like laid a good foundation. It wasn't didn't have the final result I wanted to, but I would definitely call the season a success. The season was great. I had a, a very good time, you know, chumming it up with the boys, getting on the court. I do think the lack of practice hurt us a little bit and I think personnel wise there's maybe some additions or subtractions we could make we had something special we are really that game that we hit all those like we went off we all felt it it was something special now I just want Chicago's head on a stick that's all I want we need help because you can't go into that fucking playoff game and blow a 17 point lead maybe it's coaching maybe it's coaching I don't know we had fun we had drama, we were sweating and fucking crying and bleeding. 
but overall, I think it was a success. We were a lot better than I thought we would be.